Daniela and Keith, after yesterday's powerful storm, if you don't already have one, you might be looking into getting a generator, but those costs are on the rise, and today we found out why. It's times like this and sounds like this that get you thinking. I guess the biggest impetus for me to really consider a generator seriously was the freeze that we had last year. So Richard Perwin started making some calls. He didn't love what he heard. I don't know that we're in a situation where our supply chain is reliable enough to, to have it in the times when you need it most. Over on Blaylock Road. I mean, we used to turn projects around in 30 days, uh, but now we're looking at 20 to 25 weeks and then just move it out. Ashton Tennant, the co-owner of GenPro, says because of supply chain issues and the pandemic, they've seen delays for a while. However, rising costs is the new hurdle. There's a lot of things driving increased costs. Fuel is twice as much as it was a year ago. Um, just raw materials like copper and lead, all those materials that go into batteries or, or copper they use for wiring of homes. For perspective, Tenet says in 2019, a generator for an average sized home would cost around $8,000. He says now it's around ten dollars to $12,000 and those costs are expected to increase. He says last year they pre-ordered a few million dollars in stock. A good amount of it was quickly accounted for. Now... We've seen 30% increase in just from the manufacturers uh, for the purchase of what we sell, generators. Meaning their profits are narrowing. He says right now it's an industry-wide issue. It, it affects everything you do. And if you are going to be looking into getting a generator, Tenet says now is the time because prices go up during the summer due to hurricane season. He also wants to remind people that there are several factors that go into, you know, these delays, including permitting and people coming out to do inspections. So he wants people to keep that in mind, that that could be contributing to some of these delays. For now, we're reporting live in Pearland, Sabir Rayford, KPRC 2 News.